Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Back to the Future Part 3 Timeline of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off here on Melee Island trying to track down the voodoo lady so we can um, save the doc's life. Um, but we're a little bit stuck with that so we're going to try and figure that out in this episode. Um, first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So let's do this. Um, did we check out the Voodoo Lady's place last time? I can't remember if we we did or not. Um, oh yeah, we did, didn't we, I think, because there was this statue, and I don't think I knew what to do with it. It's got to be something to do with this shop, hasn't it? To get the Voodoo Lady. Can we do anything... Kind of an emaciated Charles Atlas. Um, oh, we can talk. What the hell? Well, the sphere lit up. Ah, oh, here we go. What's this? Ah, <gasps> hey, what the hell is this? What may I help you with, son? Oh, I see. It's the voodoo lady. Hi, my name's Marty One-Eyed Willie, and I'm looking for a can of gas. We're not though. Wait, don't say anything. I can sense your name is is One-Eyed Willie. No. McFly. Marty McFly. Am I not right? Oh, wait, has nothing to do with it. It's just you open your mind, it will help you in your coming journey. Journey? What can you tell me about my journey? I'm getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. Yeah, I see a giant monkey. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, so we could have done this back at the beginning. Your journey will have many parts. You must go to Monkey Island. This is similar to what she says to Guybrush, of course. Once there, you must activate the Stargate to land on Mars. Of course, you will need a spacesuit. Oh my word, I didn't know this existed. This pretty much tells you everything you need to do. <laughs> Wait, don't go away. Ah, oh, what is... Is that what we can't talk to her again? Ah, oh, what? She didn't tell us what we needed. I wonder if we can use this on it. No, we can't. What about the petals? No. I wonder if we can use. I wonder if we can use the Holy Grail on Doc. Oh, let's try that. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Because this is kind of like in Indiana Jones when he uses the Holy Grail. On his dad, doesn't he? I'm sure that's what happens. I can't remember, to be honest with you. We're going to be playing that game next, actually. So, that will refresh my memory. But I wonder, actually, if we can use that on him. I didn't think to do that. So, right back at the beginning, when we first came back in time, we could have gone and spoken to the voodoo lady, and she would have told us exactly what we needed to do. <laughs> but, I mean, we figured it out on our own, to be honest, didn't we? And sometimes it's more fun to do that. Okay, let's get to the sword masters. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can can we talk to him or anything. No, right, let's see. I wonder if we can use the petals on him. No. Okay. The Holy Grail. Yes, looks like it's working. Is it working? Hey! Uh-oh. What? You? Hey, lighten up, jerk. Mighty strong words, runt. You man enough to back them up with more than just a cup of carpenter? Look, my, leave my friends alone. What's wrong, dude? You yellow? Uh-oh. This is what causes the problem in the film. That's what I thought. A yellow belly. Nobody calls me yellow. Let's finish it right now. Not now, William. We finished the bullets. Like I said, I challenge you to stinking gunman. Oh! Now we can use the stinking gunman thing. Damn, I did not hit two targets. It's your turn. <laughs> Look who it is. Did we do it? Did we hit all three? Damn! No one has ever defeated me. You will pay for that. 
Marty, go get the trap back. A monkey robbed me. Here we go. It's the Ghostbusters thing. Don't sneak up on me like that. <gasps> what do we do? Is he dying? That doesn't seem to work. Go get the trap back. What trap? What trap? Can we use anything else we have here? Let's try talking to them. I, I, I don't get what we're actually supposed to do here. Go get the trap back. What trap? Oh! It's the free-headed monkey! <laughs> Prefer not the monkey could get angry. Right, okay. So has the free headed monkey got the trap? A free headed monkey? What the hell is this? Right, okay. Can we give it the banana? That doesn't seem to work. Huh. I would have thought they'd want the banana. Hmm. Can we give them petal? That might make them pass out. No, it doesn't seem to work. Huh. What do we need to, to use on them? Can we talk to them? Hey, can I have the trap? The monkey does not answer. Oh crap, how are we going to do this? Can we use the cassette player on it? Doesn't seem to work. The hoverboard doesn't seem to work. We need to give them something that they want, I'm guessing. Right, can we get off the hoverboard? Uh, what do we do here? <laughs> Doesn't seem to work, okay. What do they want? That doesn't seem to work. I literally don't know. Can we even leave this area? No. Right, okay. Let's... Oh, they've moved now. So, what... can we talk to the dock? No. Uh, I wonder if we can use the banana on him. That doesn't seem to work. Huh. I mean, how do we get the trap? Can we go in here? No. I, d I really don't get how we're going to get this. Can I have the trap? The monkey does not answer. Doesn't want the banana. We can't leave this area. Doesn't look like we can... I mean, in Secret Monkey Island, we had to use the vending machine, didn't we? To use the root beer, but... I don't see a vending machine here. Can we give them the money? I mean, is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know if that will actually work. Let's see if we can give them the money. Uh, money for you guys. Will you take money? No. Okay. Um, oh, God. What else do we have? That's about it. And it's the compass works. No. Okay. Um, can we use this again and dress up? No. Can we take it? The monkey could get angry. Well, I don't really care if the monkey gets angry at this point, to be honest. I just want the flipping thing. Um, a three-headed monkey. What the hell is this? Well, yeah. I mean... We tried the gas can, didn't we? That didn't work. What on earth do we do? Uh, I mean, have they moved again if we go back through? No. I honestly don't know. Uh, Doc, any hints, man? Can we use the gas with him or something? That work? That doesn't seem to work. Um... 
I don't know. Can we use the banana? We tried the banana room, didn't we? Um, can we use the, the petals on him? No. Uh, can we use the axe on him? No, that doesn't seem to work. <sighs> I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that we've literally just got to use everything on these monkeys until we find what we flipping need. Um, we've used... we've used everything. We used that, didn't we? Doesn't seem to work. Uh, the hoverboard? Oh! <laughs> Wait, hang on, we've still got the hoverboard, what? <laughs> Do we have a spare one? Anyway, we've got the trap now. <laughs> right. Back we go. Doc, I've got the trap. Quickly. Sorry about that little issue there. The three-headed monkey thing didn't make sense to me at first. <laughs> Let's use it on him. Here we go. Yes! We captured him. Doc, but what happened to Carla? Don't ask. Ready, Marty? Go! Here we go. <laughs> We're driving along the road. Can we get back? Software failure. Press left mouse button to continue. <laughs> oh, I see. Is this going to reboot the game? If so, that's clever. Or is it going to show us something new? It's loading. To be continued. And there is actually another game now, a sequel. It came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's Back to the Future Part 4. I think it's the Multitasking Crystal. I'm not too sure, but we will be uh, playing that at some point on the channel because this has been pretty cool. There we go. I'm guessing that's the end. Back to the Future Part 3, there we go, end credits. This was really cool, wasn't it? I really enjoyed this. For a fan-made game, it's pretty professional, actually, I've got to say. And I love the music, the animation, everything. It was, it, it worked really well as a crossover, actually. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I started playing it, because some of these fan-made games can be a little bit hit and miss but yeah this was really really cool and I can't wait to play the sequel actually and um, we won't be playing it straight away next up is turn your computer off and go to sleep <laughs> um, next up is going to be Indiana Jones the last crusade and that's gonna be the graphic adventure version that won the vote by an absolute landslide over the dig and um, so that'll be the next game we play and then I think we will play the sequel to this because uh, this is been really good fun. I think you guys have really enjoyed it as well from all the comments and stuff, so I think that will be the next indie point and click that we check out. But yeah, if you want to read my full in-depth um, review of the game, I will be putting that over on my Medium page, which is um, medium.com slash at Turian Shepherd, and you can read all my sort of main thoughts about the game. Uh, but yeah, for now, what a really cool game. I'm so glad I played this, and I'm so glad it was recommended to me by you guys as well. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>